Week 14 NFL picks and predictions. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you my predictions for the upcoming 13 games in week 14 of the NFL. Our record last week was 12-4. and four. A couple tough games that we had, but overall we're 130-65. and 65. I think that's pretty good, bro. I'm going to top like 90% or whatever. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and pick these upcoming games for this week. Starting with the Thursday night game, Packers against Lions, right into it, bro. I'm taking the Lions against the Packers to start us off today. I just think, like, the Lions are so good. As an Eagles fan, y'all know I'm an Eagles fan, and, like, I would love for the Packers to win. Packers on the road. I hope it's high scoring, a lot of buckets going up. I would think this is going to come down and be a close game, a divisional game, rivalry game, primetime Thursday. Both teams played last Thursday, um, so they've had a whole week off. It's not a short week for one of the teams. They both had seven days off, so I'm thinking that it's going to be a high-scoring game. Lots of touchdowns going up everywhere. Um, but, yeah, I like the Lions to come away with this one in the division to make them 12-1 and on the season. But we'll see, bro. I'm really excited for this Packers game. Jags at Titans. I like the Titans in this one. Um, Jags are going to be playing Mac Jones. I don't think Mac Jones is, you know, a great quarterback, but I don't think Will Levis is that great either. I think it's going to come down to the defense, and I think the Titans have a better defense than the Jags, uh, so I have more faith in the Titans to get this one done at home against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jets at Dolphins. Um, you know, bro, like we always thought the Jets were going to be good, but this is kind of a must-win for the Dolphins if they want to make their playoff push in a divisional game. Um, this is a game they should win, but you know, you never know what's going to happen with the Jets. They could seem like they look like the best team in the world randomly. And, yeah, everybody will start being like, ah, whatever. But if the Dolphins lose this game, their season's over. So it's a must-win game for the Dolphins. And I think they pull it out at home um, in Miami weather because, you know, they can't play in the cold if they was up in New York. Falcons at Vikings, bro. I got the Falcons. All right? Hear me out. I've been glazing the Falcons all year because I think they're going to be good. But every time I watch Kirk Cousins play, it's every other game he has a good game. And this is an every other game situation. Uh, the Vikings are going to be heavily favored in this game at home. Um, but I think Kirk just has one of those games. And his, it's, his return to, it's his return to Minnesota, bro. His return to Minnesota. I think he's going to have a crazy game. He's going to ball out and uh, show the Vikings what they're missing out on. But, you know, they got Sam Darnold on their ball, so that's cool. But I think he comes back to Minnesota and he goes bonkers. Next, Saints at Giants. All right. So this is an interesting game right here. The Saints at the Giants. The Giants suck. Saints suck. But the Giants are playing Drew Luck or DeVito. I'm not going to lie. If Daniel Jones was still the quarterback of the New York Giants, I'd be taking them in this game. But the fact that they, I don't know who's going to be playing quarterback for the Giants. If it's Drew Luck, I'd give him a better chance than DeVito. But I'm taking the Saints to whoop the New York Giants. But um, I got the Saints by like 10 points, if I'm going to be honest. I think Derek Carr has one of those games where he's just airing the ball out. Marquez valdez Scantlin is going to be making catches. I don't know if Chris Olave is going to be back. I hope he is for fantasy-wise, but not sure. Next matchup, we got my Philadelphia Eagles at home against my brother's Carolina Panthers. Rivalry game. I should have gone to this game with my bro, but oh well. Um, Panthers at Eagles. Panthers been playing well lately. Um, Bryce Young looks like he's an actual number one pick and is finally coming into his own after being benched. So it was good for him. Uh, but the Eagles look like a dominant team, dominant football team. Panthers have one of the worst rush defenses in the league. And we have a uh, possible MVP running back in Saquon Barkley. So with that being said, I think the Eagles pull this one out. I don't think it's going to be a blowout, though. The Eagles don't blow out bad teams, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I think it's going to move in by like 10 points, maybe. But I don't think that's a blowout. Uh, I think the Panthers are going to keep it close until at least the third, maybe start of the fourth quarter, and then the Eagles will just run all over them for the rest of the game. Browns at Steelers. We saw the Browns beat the Steelers a couple weeks ago on Thursday Night Football in Browns land. Um, and the Browns look good on uh, Monday against the Broncos. But Steelers at home, they should win this game. Uh, if they don't, tragic. I'd probably take the plus points on the Browns. Divisional matchup, they're always close uh, in this division. So, you know, if it's like plus seven, I'd take plus seven for Shoddy. But I think the Steelers come away with this one at home. Big game for them. Um, with the Ravens on a bye week, they need to get this. So there'll be two games ahead. If not, um, they'll only be one game ahead. And they have to play the Eagles, the Ravens, and then the Chiefs 
um, to end their season. So they really need to beat the teams that they're supposed to beat and then hope they can beat the teams that um, are just as good as them, if not better. Uh, but, yeah, that's what the Steelers need to do for the rest of the season. Raiders Bucks must win game for the Bucks at home against the 2-10 and 10 Raiders, who almost shocked the world and beat the Chiefs, but they couldn't get it done. Uh, right here, I'm taking the Bucks. Like I said, must win game. Um, they're tied with the Falcons. Both have big games this week. Both need must win. Um, if they win this game and the Falcons lose to the Vikings, the Bucks will be in first place in this division. And as a Bucks, as a Falcons fan, I'm getting a little worried because we beat the Bucks twice, but they have the same record as us. So not sure how I'm feeling about that if I am a Falcons fan. But yeah, the Bucks is a must win right here. And I think they get the Raiders out the way, sir. Next, we got a divisional matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler Murray, are you going to show up, bro? Are you going to show up and take the division lead back? Or are you going to be down 6-7 and they're going to be 8-5? and five? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Kyler? This is your chance to put yourself in first place in the division and, you know, looking like the best team in the division. Because you just lost to Seattle in Seattle a few weeks ago. You just lost last week to Minnesota when you could have beat them very easily and been tied with Seattle and fighting for the clear lead in the division this week. But now you're fighting to be tied. So it's a must-win game for the Cardinals, in my opinion. The Seattle could lose this game and still be tied for first place. But I think the Cardinals need to nut up or shut up and get this dub if they have any chance of winning that division. Buffalo Bills at the Rams. I think it's going to be a good game. Sneaky game at home. SoFi Stadium. L.A. It's kind of cold out here, if y'all didn't know. Like, it kind of gets cold in L.A. It'd be like 50 degrees. But it's cold for us because we're not used to the, the lower things. It's, like, it, it, it's cold for us, you feel me? But I think the Bills uh, beat the Rams. The Bills look like one of the best teams in the league. Um, they're not going to be playing in no snow. It's going to be a regular field game in, you know, I forget what they call it, the stadium so far. It's not a dome. It's not a something. It's like a cove or something. I don't know. Whatever. Y'all y'all can look it up. But, yeah, I think the Bills beat the Rams um, on the road and get to 11-2 and two in hopes that the Chiefs could drop a game and they would take over the number one seat in the conference and get home field advantage in Orchard Park because it could be snowing in a playoff game, and that would be very good for them. Um, next, we got the Bears at the Niners. Two teams that have underperformed this year. Um, McCaffrey's out. Jordan Mason's out. Brock Purdy and George Kittle is really all they got left on offense. Debo has been kind of washed this season. Uh, maybe he comes back and starts hooping. Um, but the Bears this is a good spot. The Bears could definitely win this game. The Bears could definitely win this game. Uh, I think it's going to be a close game, but I think the 49ers pull it out just because, you know, they're more of an inexperienced team, and I don't know, they still have a chance to potentially make the playoffs, whereas the Bears are completely done, and they could just play spoiler for real. Chargers at Chiefs. This is the toughest game of the week to pick for me because the Chiefs haven't blown anybody out. And, like, two minutes left, Justin Herbert with the ball. I know he's throwing, maybe throwing to Lab McConkie. Like, I, I believe in that. I don't believe in him throwing to Quentin Johnson, but I believe in him throwing to Lab McConkey. Um, I don't know if Dobbins will be back. If not, that's a tough one for them. But I'm still taking the Chiefs at home. It's going to be cold. Um, L.A. team playing in cold weather. I don't know. It's not like these guys all grew up in L.A. But it will be a tough game for them to win. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs at home. And last but not least, we got Bengals at Cowboys on Monday Night Football. This was supposed to be a big game going into the season, but both teams have barely underperformed. But I'm taking the Bengals to uh, pull this one out in Dallas. But if Dallas wins this game, it's going to be a lot of talk about them making a playoff push um, because they have a favorable schedule besides playing the Eagles this season. Um, if they win this game, it'll be 6-7. and seven And they just they get to 10-7. and seven. That's looking like a playoff team potentially – with all those teams in the NFC North that got to play each other. So there's going to be a lot of losses in the NFC North coming up. But that's our 13 picks. We got Bengals, Chiefs, Niners, Bills, Cardinals, Bucks, Steelers, Eagles, Saints, Falcons, Dolphins, Titans, Lions. So, yeah, there we go, bro. Um, you see the picks. You see everything how it is. Appreciate y'all for watching. Week picks might be a little day late, but it's all good. Make sure you guys get your picks in. Make sure you use code WABO on Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks Fantasy to get up to $100 back when you deposit. Yes, I scared. We out of here.